How's it going there guys? Earthmaster here. Gonna do a update video for earthquake activity around the globe. It is September 18th, 2017, 3.56 p.m. here on the west coast in California where we're finally getting some cooler weather. Uh, I know first off a lot of people have been asking about the live stream, if it's coming back, when it's coming back. Uh, right now, um, I am so busy in my personal life and my day job to where I don't even have time to uh, let alone wash all my laundry. I mean, it's pretty crazy right now. Um, so in the meantime, uh, the stream will not be coming up unless a major event happens, say a large earthquake somewhere. Uh, that way we can bring on the live uh, stream for uh, discussions of earthquakes and uh, in regards to any major earthquake that may have happened or may happen or if there's any kind of major solar flare activity or any kind of you know pending uh, disaster I guess so but for now we'll continue doing the earthquake video updates you know I apologize for those that uh, want the stream up and going right now but it's just I can't I can't do it uh, <clears throat> I just can't do it right now it takes too much of my time and uh, of course the mods are on there but I want to be able to interact more with the viewers uh, you know I just don't want to leave the stream on 24 7 and never be able to get on and communicate and talk with the viewers out there it's just I just don't feel think that's right you know I want to be able to give updates consistently I want to get on chat and interact with you guys you know all night long but right now you know there's I'm just at a phase here where I need to focus on the day job and uh, right now they're demanding 150 percent of me and that's a lot of my time so for now we'll continue with the updates on the earthquakes guys uh, a little bit of activity down there in the Chile South America region 5.8 and a couple 4.3s down there as well continued earthquake activity in southern Mexico uh, aftershock activity following the 8.2 there a couple weeks ago some activity down in Southern California region, actually just south of the uh, Southern California region near Baja. I guess that's still considered Mexico down there. Uh, 3.5 occurring. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of activity, guys. A little bit, of, little bit of earthquake activity in Northern California, uh, up near Yakaya and Willits. Uh, I believe that was a. Let's see here. Well, that's just a small one right now. That is 2.0. 1.6 here is in the geysers and that's uh, south of this location that's going to be this little dot right here the geysers 2.0 being uh, up here but other than that uh, I was looking at this earthquake map here and there's just not a whole lot of activity uh, there was some deep movement uh, let me show you on the globe here if I can get back there and check it out it may have dropped off it looks like it did you can bring back that time a little bit here got a 4.9 down here in this region I could have swore I seen something deeper. Maybe not. Maybe they adjusted it. Because I'm not seeing it. But either way, um, somewhat quiet on the scale of earthquake activity. Live seismograph stations show not a whole lot of activity out there, guys. Pretty quiet. That's a good thing. But as always, that means something's building up somewhere. And um, the question is where? So, I mean, you, there is a little bit of activity in Southern or South America near Chile, and also a little bit of activity over here in Southern Mexico. So again, this tells me that it's still increased pressure over here along this, uh, along these plates over here, including the West Coast of the United States. Uh, we'll take a look at the slow slip event movements and see what they have for us today increased activity actually um, remember I mentioned about an increase in pressure on the west coast and uh, basically up and down those plates there uh, this is confirming that pressure with the slow slip uh, slow slip events occurring we'll go ahead and go back a couple days here and check out uh, see what it looks like <coughs> over the past We'll go from there to right here. 
We'll check out the events, color versus time. And once again, red being the newest earthquakes, and most of those earthquakes occurred yesterday. Today is the 18th. Uh, the summary ended on the 17th. So there's all these red ones here indicating older slow slip event movements, a little bit down there near Medford um, quite some time ago, a couple days ago. So there is activity in all sections of, well at least certain sections, from the north up here to Seattle to the middle of uh, Oregon to Northern California near Redding. So this tells me that this slow slip event is on a large scale affecting basically the west, the whole west coast here, down to Redding. And uh, of course this always releases pressure. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's different than earthquakes, guys. It's uh, basically a subduction zone, slow slip event um, that can go on for days, hours, months. Uh, in this case, it's just uh, sporadic. Uh, in different spots here and we'll continue to keep an eye on that uh, for any kind of uh, movement because once you do once again when you have any type of slippage uh, underneath a, a continent here the plate the North American plate right here uh, you could get some of these lock sections here um, you know the Cascadia sub subduction zone and other areas uh, being affected by that movement but to watch it also up there near Vancouver Island I didn't see that so basically a large-scale slow slip event there um, all the way up here down to Southern California or uh, Northern California excuse me other than that guys hope everyone is enjoying their Monday um, I am NOT <laughs> it's just one of those days so uh, once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And um, as far as Yellowstone goes, let me check over there real quick. Not a whole lot of activity. This here is going to be wind uh, being picked up over here. It's not magma movement. It's not going to blow. It's not uh, uplift. Basically just wind from a pretty good storm, low pressure system coming in right now off the northwest coast of California. And also in uh, on the northwest, I'll show you on the site here. Pretty good system bringing in some much cooler air into California. You can see the jet stream up here with this low level disturbance and then being wrapped around it, uh, bringing in all this cold air. So I'm enjoying it, that's for sure. The hurricanes down here are not liking that colder water and the shear. Uh, so those things are just going to dissipate and uh, go away. But uh, for us, maybe some rain up in the mountains, uh, but much, much cooler weather for the entire West Coast. Stay safe out there, guys. We'll catch up with you again soon.